In a continuation of videos on our home networking series, today we're going to look at testing our patch leads. And we're going to test them using our patch app and go. A tester we've seen in a previous video that tested from the patch panel on our electrical installation to the data points throughout it in order to confirm the terminations or connections were correctly laid out. And this brings me to a question we keep getting asked. We keep getting asked, which of the two systems should I use? Should I use the T568A? or B as our system. So what we're talking about there is the way we lay out our conductors in the form of the color layout. And in truth, it doesn't matter which one you choose. However, the most common system is to select the B type. My strong recommendation is confirm the system being used in your installation and continue that one on. But just bear in mind, the B system is the most common. So these patch leads themselves are either crossovers, which is a little bit rarer than the standard straight through. So we'll look at the through ones first. So what's happening when we say our lead is a straight through connection? So we need to know what's happening at the data plate itself, as well as what is happening here within the actual switch or within the actual hub itself. So a PC will send out its information from here via the patch lead. It will send out its information on terminals one and two. Okay, and it will receive its information on terminals three and six. So that's within here it flips when we think about the switch or the actual hub itself. So the hub itself or switch will send out its information on terminals three and six and receive its information on terminals one and two. So when we're doing our straight through connection, that is the reason and thinking behind it. However, there is an occasion where you need to make a connection between PCs or like devices. And in that case, you're gonna to have to have a crossover lead. So. PC number one will use terminals one and two to send out information and three and six to receive the information and the opposite flips round. So you'll change your colors round because at the other end, you'll have three and six sending information and one and two receiving them. So in real terms, you'll make one of the ends off using the A system and one of the ends off using the B system in order to get a crossover lead. I've got them on the bench. Let's go to the bench and have a look at how we're gonna test our leads, whether we're using the A system or the B system. And I've also got one as a crossover lead as well. So in front of me, I've made up three patch leads. I've made one up with the B method at both ends, the A method and a crossover that has B at one end and A at the other end. How do I know when I pick up a patch lead or I've made one up or there's one on site, which method's being used? So a simple case of keeping the gold pins up facing you and you're looking at the left hand one. So I'm looking at pin number one. And in this case, I can clearly see that is white and orange. And I'll confirm it on the other one. Again, it is white and orange, meaning that this patch lead is using method B. Okay, so we got this one here. So this one's got A, I've labeled it A both ends. So when I look at this one, again, exactly the same principle. I've got the gold pins at the top and I'm looking at the left hand one and I'm looking for that color and I can see that is white and green. Okay, so I'll confirm it on both, making this the A type method. Works exactly the same with a bought lead as well. This one here has got a combination of both and we'll worry about that in a minute, but we're gonna set up our patch app and go to test these leads. And to do that, I've gone to a very famous online uh, seller and I've bought myself two of these. These are RJ45 couplers, and this makes it very easy to adapt the kit that we've seen in a previous video in order to detect the patch leads. So I'm gonna bring my phone in and get the app opened and we'll have a go at testing those. So I brought my mobile device. I've got the patch app and go app opened. I'll take my dongle out of my box. There's a button on the side, as we've shown you before. Press and hold that, and we should see it starting to flash. And you can see now it's brought up the fact that the two have found each other. They've used them before, so they're paired together. So we click on it, and now we've got the ability to do uh, multiple test, quick test, and trace. We're going to be doing a quick test. So we're going to press the quick test button, and now we can start using our couplers. So I said I'd do the B one first. So these are both B ends. So let's click those in like so. And then we need to take our dongle into one end, doesn't matter which end you go in for your dongle. And then we need to just get out one of these, which are smart plugs. Again, it doesn't matter which one of these we choose. Plug it in like so. Okay, and then we need to go through this system here. So we've got cable type. We're going for category six, shielded, no. And then at the top here, which is often missed, we've got uh, 568A, which says USA, and 568B, uh, which says Europe. So we're using the B method. Press the B method. And then we look down and press the test button. 
and you can see it's clear. So we've got the green light come up on here, okay, and a green LED on here, and the test has passed, correct. Okay, so that's fantastic. So all we need to do now is we wanna check the next one, disconnect these, okay, like so, and move the B lead out of the way, and this time we're gonna use the A lead. So we clip in as we did before into the actual device itself. Clip those in. Back into my app. We go back to the home button, and now we're looking for, again, quick test. Exactly the same process again. So cable type, it's six, shielded, no. And now we're gonna go for the A. Press the test button, LEDs flash, and it's passed that test as well. So it's confirmed both of those tests. So really simple by just buying these couplers, online retailer, and you're off and running. Let's do the A and B one. So this is the crossover. This might be where we're connecting between two like devices. So we'll get rid of that one. And it's uh, the first end you choose, whether it be uh, the B or the A end. Okay, so let's just choose the fact that we're gonna do the B end into our actual dongle itself. And then into the um, smart plug, let's put the A end and we go again. So quick trace. Now we can't choose one because obviously we've got a problem. There isn't a, a crossover lead to choose, but we'll choose the right cable, six and it isn't shielded. And let's choose, let's choose it as B. And that will make it the first one. So let's go with a B test. Okay, so it's come up as a fail for us, but we've got to look at now the left and right hand side. So we've gone white and orange, orange, white and green, blue, white and blue, green, white and brown, brown. And then when you map it across to the other side, actually that follows the pattern for A. So that starts white and green, green, white and orange, blue, white and blue, orange, white and brown, brown. So actually, by looking at the two sides, we've actually got that uh, crossover connection done. So we've confirmed actually by looking at that and knowing our two patterns, whether we be the A or the B, left hand one being B, right hand one being A, we can see that we've got the pattern correct. So that's a really easy way by adding just some little couplers in that you can actually use the patch up and go to check your uh, patch leads for confirmation whether you're using the B system, which is very common, the A system, or in this case, we made up a crossover lead. So when we look at the back of our Euro module, we can often see, can't we, all of those colors, and it can come a little bit confusing, but if you look very closely in there, you'll see a A and a B, and it's just a simple case of following through whether you be on the left-hand side, where the A is, or the B, whichever system, B being the most common, and follow the pattern down for the, the four on the left, and then likewise for the four on the right, choosing either A or B, with B being the most common. Remember, these are pairs, so it's actually four pairs within our conductors as we lay those out and we punch those down. So that's just another little tip for you. Look for the letter, normally B, follow it down on either side in order to get the colors correct for the actual connection of a Euro module. So hopefully you can clearly see how easy it was again to use patch app and go in this time to test a patch lead. And hopefully it's also cleared up which method we're likely to use. It's likely to be method B. And by looking at the actual RJ45 with the gold pins up, we're looking at the left hand or terminal one. And if we see that that is white and orange, we know that we're using method B. And we're now also a little bit aware of what is happening between either the router and the switch and actually the plate itself in order to communicate the information. So as always, any comments for us at eFix, please leave them below and we'll see you on the next video.